Hey, what's going on guys and girls? I'm Kali Phoenix here and welcome to Subnautica Season 5, Episode Number 12. Alright, so we've got two and a half minutes-ish till the Sunbeam arrives. I'm probably not going to bother going over to the event. I want to see what happens if we don't go. Just once. I just want to see what happens. I'm going to turn this master volume down a bit as well. Because it's very loud. Okay. Hopefully the levels... You know what? That's got to go down more. It's still too loud. Okay. So, hopefully the levels of that are okay. There was a big update for Subnautica Experimental Mode. I'm not exactly sure what was in it, though, unfortunately. Uh, I think it's everything that's going to be the, in the stable update on the 21st. So... Maybe there's a way to deactivate the thing over there. Also, I noticed the fog for the islands seems harder to see than what it used to be. It used to be very obvious, and now it's not so obvious. Alright, we got two minutes till it shows up. I wonder if we were to stand on top of the life pod, could we see it is the question. It's going to do its animation? No? Okay. Alright, let's see. Let's just stand here and we'll wait. And we'll see if there's anything about it. All our photos, all our... Little pod things. I still don't like this menu. I still really wish... Um... There's a search function. That I could just quickly go bang. Battery. Bang. Fucking scuba suit. You know, that type of thing. And just look up an item instead of having to remember where each area of the blueprints are. Like the scanner room. And I can just type it in. Exactly what I'm looking for. I'd be so happy. We've got a minute left. We should start to see some activity going on any second now. Is that it? Is that it there? Right there? All right, 40 seconds left. Hmm. There's no message on the receiver yet, the comms relay or anything. So it's not like they tried to patch through to us. I've just never seen what happens if you don't go to it, so it just makes me curious. Hopefully it doesn't fuck anything up. Like, I'd be curious to see if he sends you a message like, Where the fuck are you? And he dies. You know, that type of thing. Actually, a, actually a lot of stars here. I'm looking the wrong fucking way. I don't see anything, though. Alright, here we go. Nothing? We won't see, like, this big explosion or anything from here. Oh, yeah, there it is. Picking up orbital transponder Picking signature of trading vessel Sunbeam. Vessel, signature of trading vessel, vessel is approaching sunbeam. planet surface vessel and initiating surface scanning surface procedures. Initiating surface scanning procedures. Detecting, Detecting massive, massive power, power surge from anomalous contact. contact. Energy discharge detected. Vessel signature. Oh, shit! Energy discharge detected. Why did they loop over each other? Holy fuck. It looks better from back here. Okay, so I guess the idea is if you didn't go to the event, you really wouldn't know exactly what happened. I think that's the general idea here. Is you'd be like, oh man, it just blew up from what? And you yeah, okay. Alright. Well, that was the Sunbeam event. That's a thing. Okay, so maybe... Maybe we could go wreck diving a little bit. Welcome aboard, Captain. Maybe an Welcome idea. Aboard, Captain. Okay, well, we know what happens to the Sunbeam. It still happens from back here. You actually still get to see it, so that's cool. Alright. We could even... Maybe it's floating island travel time? I mean probably be about that be a good time for that we've got food and stuff that can supply us over there we need to get some blueprints anyway so it may be a good idea to head over to the floating island i think 
what we'll do is, of course, we'll uh, speed through this bitch for you guys and girls so you don't have to wait so long while I travel over there. There's nothing really on the way that I have to worry about anyway. Um, maybe some bone sharks as I get really close to it, but for the most part, there's not much to, to stress about. Okay, we can see the island from here anyway. Are my lights on? Okay, they are on. Alright. Whoops. Speed one. Yeah, there's pretty much nothing to worry about out here. There is something we have to check out that's now spawns in the void as of a few days ago. Um, I don't know whether we're going to check it out anytime soon, but that is something I do want to do at some point. Okay, so these rocks are part of the environment. Look at this place. It's lovely. It's only fucking 30 FPS, though. Not really any quality settings I want to change right now. Okay, so let's get scanning. Okay, the scanning thing's not working around the... Oh, okay, it's scanning that behind it. That's why I couldn't see the little lines across the top of the item. Bullabull tree. That's how we get water. Let's eat a bunch of this shit. Pretty sure, from memory, we can eat this for fucking water. Picking up multiple faint energy signatures on the surface. Alright, there we go. That's how you survive when you're just exploring this island. I still kind of want to build a base over here, like down near the water or something, but I'm still unsure because there's no way to access... Well, can you access that center area from underneath? I guess you can, can't you? So you could, like, huh? build a little thing up. What are you? Spooky, scary, sea emperor. <laughs> okay, we can't apparently climb for worth a shit, so we're going to have to go around. All right. So, I didn't miss anything, scan-wise. I think I got a lot of stuff. All right, there's a couple things over here that are new. The Ming plant, which I think also gives you water, or does it give you just a normal... Uh, I might just give you seeds. Jaffa cups, which I don't believe give you anything apart from seeds, so they're just purely for looks again. Mature flora specimen will grow if planted in the right conditions. Alright, that just made my frames drop. Every time an item doesn't have a textured uh, 3D drop, it just it, it's just a square cube. It seems to drop my frame rate when I drop them. I don't know why. It just happens. Okay, let's just head or skirt along the top here. Be careful. Don't fucking fall. You'll die. More than likely, at least. We'll head up to these islands up here. Or these, these, what do you call them? These bases at the top here. We don't have much to worry about out here. Up here, should I say. When we go to the base that's down towards the bottom of the island, we'll have some some cave crawlers to deal with. But up here, nothing. Alright, finally. Okay, let's get a scanning. A bulkhead I don't think I've ever built. Once in this game have I never built a bulkhead. I don't believe. I can't think of a time I have. I don't know why. It's just, it just seems expensive for no purpose for me. Near blueprint acquired. Right, now we're going to pick it up. Composite plant pot. Near blueprint acquired. Alright, Chinese potatoes, easy source of food, along with the marble melons. We can eat these. We don't want to eat them all. We just want to maybe take at least a couple with us. That should be alright. We can always make more from that. There's a PDA up here. And the observatory. Which again is something I don't think I've ever built. But I've always wanted to build. I just hate collecting stalker teeth is really the only reason. New blueprint acquired. Okay, there was a spotlight on the roof, but I already got that. I think I got everything there is to get up on this mountain base. Oh, fuck. Ooh. I thought I was going to die then. Got a little bit worried, because imagine coming all the way over here on my fucking sea glide. 
Just to get my Seamoth would be hell. Alright, let's go to the lower base. Alright. Only reason I'm running the way I am and not following the path perfectly is because I kind of remember the terrain, so I can avoid getting... falling my death. Oh, God! I'm swimming on it! I'm like dancing on top of its, of its corpse. Or should I say its body? Now it's corpse. This is one of the main items I like to get from here. It's like one of the more important ones. Wow, oh, melons are fantastic too, though. Because they give you water and food. And everybody was raving on about how I only ate Chinese potatoes. So that last season and this season, I'm going to pretty much eat marble melons all the time. Okay, I can't get out that way. I have to go around. There's also a stasis rifle fragment, I believe, in here. But we've already unlocked that, so we're just going to get some titanium out of it. All right, let's see. Okay, you're broken. All right, let's just climb up in here. And then we can go across to here. The item's already taken, excuse me? I haven't been here. What is up with that? Oh, God. And also, why is there no animation on that ladder? And there's an animation on every other ladder in the fucking game. I'll take a free battery, why not? Oh, I don't think I've missed anything over here either. Except for that apparently being open, which is super fucky, because I haven't been over to the floating island yet. Not in this season. So I don't understand what's up with that. It's a completely new world too. It's not like I'm using an old world... And then fucking playing on that from start to finish again. Suppose we better take some lantern fruit as well. That's something we actually didn't take last time we were over at this floating island. So. We've got a couple on us. Should be all good. We've got a bit of everything. Um, which is what I really wanted to do. Uh, we can climb. We can fucking do it. We can do it. We can do it. We can figure it out. We can do it. We can figure it out. We can figure it out. Game. Fuck. Let me help you figure it out. All right. Fuck you then. We'll just take the long way. All right. Not you know no shortcuts over here. Wouldn't want to try and attempt to make everybody's lives easier by fucking climbing up the mountain, would we? Let's head up to the path. Lovely. Fuck living up here. Like, why would you not put your base down towards the bottom, at least? I mean, I guess if they wanted to avoid the cave crawlers, this is how you would avoid them, but at least... You don't have to climb all the way up a fucking mountain to get... ...anywhere. Just to go take a shit, you gotta climb to the top of the fucking mountain? Screw that. Alright. We've got everything that we can possibly carry. Once we pick up this PDA, I think we missed nothing. I think we've gotten everything we needed to get. Awesome. All right. Well, anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Subnautica in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, boys.